Today we are transforming a simple empty room into an elegant executive office in classic style, full of dark tones, gold details and a powerful atmosphere. Let's jump straight into SketchUp and bring this design to life. Hey everyone, welcome back to Nice Tower. If you are new here on this channel, we create detailed architectural designs step by step using SketchUp. So make sure to like, subscribe and turn on the bell so you never miss our next designs. Alright, let's get started. I start with a rectangle size 3000 by 4000 millimeters. This will be our main office space. I group it. Then from the side wall I mark 600 millimeters. And draw a rectangle of 400 by 600 millimeters. Now I extrude this part to the end of the wall. From the bottom of the wall, I copy a line 70 millimeters up, then another 800 millimeters, and one more 25 millimeters higher. And from the side, I copy another line 25 millimeters away and I'll repeat that for the opposite side too. Next, I copy the surface, push in, push in side part backward and now select all and make a group. Paste the previous surface in place again. I make a 4 mm offset, draw a center line vertically, offset 40 mm on each side, and then another 20 mm also for here. I push this part 10 mm inside. Also for this. Then I copy a center line 4 millimeters away. Now select everything and group it. Now it's time for the handles. I draw a circle with a 50 millimeters radius. Push it a 50 millimeters. Make it a component and copy another one 40 millimeters away. For the next section, I take a 25 millimeters offset. Use the divide option to split the line into five parts. Then copy lines to each mark and another set 25 millimeters apart i copy this surface to another spot and type x3 it's done and push each panel inward Finally, I extrude this part 10 mm forward for a nice tip effect. Also this and this. And now select all and make the component. Then I copy this cabinet to the other side of the wall. Between the two, I draw a rectangle and extrude it to match the cabinet here and push it 50 millimeters inward that makes the side cabinets look more bold and solid. I group the whole things. Next, I take another copy at 25 millimeters and from the bottom 
70 millimeters and 25 millimeters from both sides. And now I divide the line into three parts. Draw vertical lines at each mark and copy another 25 millimeters beside them. I do it for this part. Sides. Then I take a copy of the surface and push it 350 millimeters and also do it for this part. Select all and make it a group. And now I paste it in place, make a 4 millimeters offset, draw a center line, make 40 millimeters and 20 millimeters offsets on both sides. And push the inner area 10 millimeter. And now select all and make the component. And now for the handles again, same process, draw a 50 millimeters radius circle, extrude it 50 millimeters, make it a component and copy one 40 millimeters away. And now select all and take another copy of this. Here, type X2 and then. Now for the center section of the wall, first I mark 1000 millimeters, then 700 millimeters, another 100, and 1000 millimeters along the wall. And from the bottom and top, I also mark 1000 millimeters each. Now I draw rectangles in those positions. Now I take a copy, one line 400 millimeters and another 1000 millimeters away. Sorry, 100 millimeters. I clean up extra lines. And now I use the Profile Builder plugin to create the decorative moldings. I select the surface and with one click, the trims appear uh, super fast and neat. I also repeat this for all the side panels and the middle section. Select the surface and click. Then I mirror uh, or use a flip tool the side panels to the other side of the wall. For the middle frame, I make a 150 millimeters offset, another 20 millimeters, and extrude it 50 millimeters to give it a raised classic frame look. And that's it for the molding. Let's move on to the materials. I'm using a matte black color as the main tone to give that formal feeling. The same matte black goes onto the wall and cabinets and shelves. For the handles, gold material to add contrast and elegance. 
Since these are components, once I apply the material to one, all copies update automatically. To add warm contrast, I apply dark wood texture to the top parts of the cabinets and rotate it 90 degrees for direction. For this part, I also use the wood materials. Then I create the floor and another rectangle 3000 by 4000 millimeters and apply a dark wood pocket to texture to match the classic theme. And now to finish, I'll add a few furniture and light objects to complete the office mood. And here it is the final look. A sleek executive office in classic style, with mud black tones, dark wood and golden details, elegant and powerful. The lightning really completes the atmosphere, uh, giving it that perfect blend of luxury. If you like this design, don't forget to like, subscribe and turn on the bell, because next time we'll redesign the same office in a modern style. And trust me, you'll want to see that one. See you in the next video.